Hi there, it's Susan here and welcome to Back in the Craft Room. So we've got our hands on issue number two. This was so hard to get. There were um, a lot of news agencies that had them sold out. So we're very lucky to get this one, which now will enable me to complete the first um, character square, which is Peter Rabbit. So in this um, edition, we've got, it comes with the, um, the embroidery threads. Um, it also comes with some fabrics to make the double four patch um, block, which you can which can be seen on here. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with um, embroidery. Um, my whole life I've been immersed with um, tapestries. I'm very lucky. Uh, my grandma known to me as my Ormi, who lived in Austria, always made the most stunning tapestries. Um, she and then sent them out to us. So our home was always immersed in stunning tapestries. From the age of 10, I started sewing tapestries, but I've never um, had a lot of experience with embroidery as such. In my craft room, I've got um, some of my Ormi's work which can be seen. So let's get started. In the book, it says that you will need to outline Peter Rabbit first with a back stitch using two threads of the white. Um, as I've already sewn mine on with um, the sewing machine, I'm going to go around the edge, maybe in a cross stitch or some other stitch which can highlight his outline. So I've got my sewing hoop around my um, applique and I'm going to start my stitching. I'm going to grab the white cotton That's a good length. And I'm going to separate my thread into two. So I've got my two strands of embroidery cotton and I'm going to start stitching around Peter. So it's 90 minutes later and I've finished my final square. I've stitched with the white all around Peter Rabbit. I've added his whisker, eye and um, mouth accents with the brown and I've sewed in his buttons with the yellow embroidery thread. I'm quite happy with the way he turned out. He's not perfect and immaculate like the one that they suggest that you make but I think that mine has a lot of character. You may have seen me um, start off with a hoop. Uh, midway through I removed the embroidery hoop. I felt that he was blocking areas that I wanted to stitch. As I was stitching right around him the hoop um, stopped my access to his perimeters. Maybe I need a bigger hoop, but I found it easier without the hoop. Addition 2 also comes with the fabrics to make the double fall patch. I look forward to getting stuck into that next. Until next time, see you in the craft room.